The numbers would tell you there's about 1.5 million people in Canada that have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and that it's the fourth leading cause of death within our country. However, those numbers are probably dramatically lower than what the reality is. And there's a lot of people that have smoked throughout their life and your risk of COPD is increased compared to people who never did smoke. And there's a lot of people who, who don't yet have respiratory disease, but might be living with a mild form of the disease, which as they get older could progress. So we think the numbers could be as high as 3 million people over the age of 40 that may have this disorder, but we don't really know. So this project was an initiative that was started by Interior Health and they came to us um, looking for us to come up with evidence-based material that we could utilise with patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease who live in rural communities around BC and may have got some pulmonary rehabilitation formally from their local healthcare authority but could then actually perform more long-term exercise rehabilitation within their own home or within their community if they didn't have access to a formal rehabilitation rehabilitation program. It's absolutely critical, to be honest. It's part of their routine standard of care now, that if a patient has chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and especially if they've had an exacerbation or a worsening of their symptoms, that they get pulmonary rehabilitation as part of their care within Canada. And this rehabilitation and the exercise they get is essential for improving their exercise capacity and their functional capacity to live within their own environment. But more importantly, it reduces their symptoms of shortness of breath and improves their quality of life. There's considerable evidence to support that now. These resources are absolutely critical, to be completely honest. We can only touch a small number of people within our hospital, and as the number of people with chronic respiratory disease go up, we need to be able to affect and get to more and more people. I think it's also really critical for us as researchers to take what we learn within our laboratories and actually then apply it and translate that knowledge into clinical practice to actually allow and to improve the health of these patients that live within the communities. Now, the internet is a wonderful way to do that. We can get to so many individuals so easily and I think aspects of the internet where we use videos like this and we use feedback with professional health caregivers and, and, and ways of actually communicating with people who live a long way away is really absolutely critical to get to people who are not within big cities, especially within British Columbia.